Hi, good evening. It's, it's, it's always difficult to do the session towards the uh, later part of the evening when especially it's been announced that there's a band which is going to be playing. But I'll still take a, uh, you know, a chance with this one. Uh, hi, good evening. My name is Nakul. Um, I'm representing PayTM. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I think all of you know that uh, at core, uh, we are a large payment company. Uh, and, and our true vision is to enable merchants to do payments and, of course, offer lending across it. Uh, our vision, of course, is to, uh, is to touch uh, and get half a billion uh, merchants into the mainstream economy uh, through technology-led uh, financial inclusion. And I think that's what we are really proud of. Uh, I think one thing that really differentiates us from uh, large players is our omni-channel presence, and I think that's where I'm going to be investing large part of my discussion today in. And when I say that, uh, there are many players who are either only on the online side, or there are many players who are large vertical players on the offline side. I think our advantage is that we are large both on online and offline, and of course we have our own app, which makes it like the third vector uh, in the entire space. Um, and let's, and you know why I want to talk about this today is because uh, let's consider a case where somebody wants to purchase a white goods. And uh, you know you could be browsing it online at home and then decide to walk into an offline store. And, uh, and when you walk into an offline store, you might want to look at the prices, the, the offers against it. And yet, you may purchase the white good there through a QR or an EDC, or you may want to come back home and then pay through an online payment option. So if you saw that, it's not straight through, uh, both for the merchant and their customer. It's online, offline, online. In the other case, a customer will come back, decide to pay online because through his card, he finds an EMI option, which he thinks is far better, and or he may ask for the good to come home and pay through COD, and through COD, you might use a QR or a EDC option. Hence, the point that I'm making is that the online and offline boundaries have somewhere blurred, and, and that's why today you need somebody who can be seamless player on both sides of the ecosystem. And that's, that's where Paytm truly uh, leverages the best of both. Um, <clears throat> I'll just take you through uh, all, the, all the options that we have today. Uh, let's move to our on. Uh, so yeah, on the offline, uh, I'm sure uh, all of you have gone through this. Uh, we started with our plain vanilla QR uh, paper option. I think this helps seamless payments of UPI. Uh, you can use uh, postpaid uh, and a multiple range of payment options. Almost 100 integrations over here. Uh, this is the most one of the most widely used. At the same time, we have something which we have innovated, which is our Soundbox. I think Soundbox has gone off very well in the economy. Uh, merchants love it. Uh, it's one of the fastest growing uh, IoT devices that, that, that we're proud of. Uh, moving ahead, um, we have the dynamic QR. I think dynamic QR, another option which where the uh, merchant can lock in the value. Uh, it can be customized to paying uh, value plus tax. So, so there are various customizations that one can do on the dynamic QR. Uh, and of course, then the EDC device, which again, we are one of the fastest growing uh, EDC acquirer in the in the market. Uh, also, we offer a range of EMI options on it. Um, uh, moving ahead to the online option, um, we are proud to say that we are one of the uh, biggest and the fastest growing online aggregators that are there in the market today. Uh, and 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 just to just to tell you what differentiates us: uh, easy integration under 30 minutes, uh, intelligent routing, and a range of integration with banks for easy. Uh, payments for the customer. Uh, we we uh, you know give you range of EMI options, postpaid options to make it very easy for a consumer to be able to make payments. Uh, you know, customized reports, uh, real-time analytics, settlements, uh, and of course refunds. Also, we have our own router, uh, which helps in integration, improves. Uh, the whole performance by about 5% on the uptime. Uh, so, you know, all this really, really takes, the, takes it to a different dimension. And again, I'm saying this under the universal umbrella brand of Paytm, that we offer the offline 
the online and then of course our own app. Uh, now what, how does it help uh, organizations like yours? Uh, we have one of the largest consumer base. Uh, we can help you target your product on our app through deals, through gift vouchers, through advertisements. Uh, I think this is the dimension which makes us unique and this is what we call the third vector. Uh, so, uh, you know, all these three together make us a formidable force in the payments market today. Uh, also, uh, I thought I must tell you, uh, we have one of the best success rates in the market. Uh, very widely used checkouts. Uh, most checkouts that we have in the market are, are ours. Um, again, we provide a unified dashboard for our merchants, uh, very strong help desk and a support structure. So uh, all this really makes Paytm uh, a, a very, very uh, a formidable force. Uh, just to end it, uh, you know, of course, we'll be able to catch, catch up with you over the evening, but uh, you know, we are proud to say that in our endeavor to be uh, uh, the main, to get people on the mainstream, uh, um, uh, you know, economy, we already uh, serve almost 25 million merchants, uh, contributing to almost 7 billion transactions a year, uh, contributing to almost 40 billion of annual transaction value. Uh, we have almost 45 million, uh, 450 million wallet users. This, uh, my dear friends, is something that, you know, we can help you propagate your product on our app. Uh, you know, and, and we thought that why not give you a real life example? Uh, and in and, and, and that endeavor, uh, you know, I would like my colleague Mukesh. Uh, Mukesh heads the enterprise business, which takes care of e-commerce as a business. Uh, so Mukesh will, has been here through the day. Uh, he'll he'll uh, interact with Mr. Shivam Tyaki from Mintra. Uh, and, and, and we thought, let's present you a real, li real life case study as to what and how does it go into building uh, the two companies together, how they've served each other's purpose. So uh, Mukesh and Shivam inviting you over here. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I think it was a pleasure talking to all of you and look forward to uh, interacting with you in the evening. Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you, Nakul. Uh, hi, Shivam. Good evening. Hey, hi, Mukesh. Hey, everyone. Uh, uh, thanks, Nakul. I think, uh, you know, I've been here uh, since morning and uh, I, I think uh, that the only piece which was missing in the whole omni-channel approach was the payment lag. And, and we all believe that's an extremely important part because everyone was talking about the money is an extremely important component and we need to take care of it. And, and, and that's where I thought, you know, it's, it's good to have, uh, you know, somebody representing Mintra here. Uh, so, uh, Shivam, let me start by saying that uh, uh, you, you represent uh, payment business team in Mintra, right? So what is, what is something that you really take care uh, or concern about when it comes to payments uh, in, in Mintra? I think apart from uh, reducing MDRs and saving some dollars, the most important factor could be uh, my customer experience at the end of the day. Uh, most of the leading e-commerce players can relate to it. Uh, your payment page is a page where you don't want to lose your customer. So the success rate definitely, we definitely want to make sure that we have a good customer experience. We are converting our uh, customers most promptly and giving a best experience. I think apart from that, uh, we want to definitely uh, push our preparation, right? So what kind of offers we are bringing on the platform, uh, that also play a very significant role. Uh, and then obviously the payment option, because at the end of the day, while you are saying that you want to push your preparation, you know that uh, payment uh, is very dynamic industry today. Uh, every second day you are getting a new option, either it's BNPL, either it's UPI, who has organically grown so far. Uh, what you are bringing on your platform, what options you are giving to your uh, users can actually help you to grow your uh, prepaid share significantly high. So yeah, these are the few key factors we definitely take care of. Thank you, Vam. Uh, so if I, if I may ask you to double down on this point. So you said payment option we're talking about. You said success rate is one of the metrics. And then you also said uh, campaigns and promotions, right? So uh, if I may ask you to sort of go little, you know, in detail on, you know, with all of these three points, explain as to how do they really impact end of the day uh, in Mintra's business uh, and user acquisition? Oh, definitely. I think uh, with payment success rate, we have been very selective with our partner. In last year and a half, uh, we had made sure that uh, we work with best of the players in the country. Uh, we give best of the experience to our users. Obviously, that has been doubled up with giving some great offers. Uh, if you see on Mintra's platform today, uh, we give payment offers more than 25 days in a month, which is again a very big number. Uh, Paytm being our significant partner, uh, and partners such as Paytm has been very regular to my platform. 
Uh, and brands such as Mintra, which represent and been very strong in metros and tier one, uh, Paytm comes into a picture where we have seen a very strong growth in tier two and tier three. So that's how they have also helped us to grow our user base in tier two, tier three cities. And just to give some reference point, I think in last six months itself, we have seen over 120% growth in the tier two, tier three customers which Paytm has brought on the platform. So which is again a very strong number to push up. Thanks, that's very amazing. Now you, you mentioned Paytm and you know, we all represent Paytm. Uh, so, uh, how how is Paytm cashback campaigns across uh, you know a different uh, fun, you know uh, events that you have uh, across the year uh, are impacting Mintra's journey towards uh, you know uh, entering going beyond metros? So, uh, being very honest, uh, Mukesh, you know we have started this partnership almost a year and a half back. That's true. Uh, and I was not really confident that uh, whether the wallet will be able to hold those kind of numbers which we have projected and we work on today. Uh, CCDC, obviously UPI, they were very strong. Uh, we did our first campaign, results were really good. Uh, one thing which I can definitely say that uh, if you go to the platform, or not only Mintra, you go to any of the platform, your bank offers majorly target the high ATVs. Uh, it could be 3,000, it could be 4,000, it can go up to 10,000, right? With Paytm, uh, I'm giving those offers on the lesser ATVs. Uh, so I was able to serve to my other set of audience which might not be able to use or go up to that kind of a transaction levels. But at the same time, I'm giving an opportunity to those users to also get converted and get benefit, or let's say the promotional benefit which we are running on the platform. And that's the only reason if you see that we are partnered in almost few of the largest events such as EORS also. Uh, and the numbers stood really strong. So that's something which been really good. I think BNPL also now coming into a picture where we have seen a Paytm postpaid uh, growing really fast on the platform. So significantly well, I think in last one and a half year, we have seen near about 3x jump in the numbers during events especially, where uh, numbers spikes up and we definitely can vouch for it that wallet still holds certain level of percentage in previous year. So yeah. Great, great, thank you. I think that, uh, you know, you basically thrown me to my next question. And I wanted to understand your views on uh, BNPL, which is a buzzword all across, you know, Europe, Asia, India. And, and when we talk about BNPL, Paytm Postpaid's journey for Mintra, uh, if you can just, you know, elaborate as to how it has been and what do you think BNPL as an overall affordability uh, that, that comes to mind, yeah. So I think uh, BNPL, again, is a matter of convenience nowadays. Right, uh, we always used to have EMI as an option, which used to say that if you don't have money and if you want to convert your transaction into the multiple sets, uh, where you can give a lesser amount, that option was always available. With BNPL, what we have seen that it has changed consumers' behavior, where now this became more about the convenience, that okay, if I have to pay to Mintra, or let's say Amazon, or let's say Flipkart, uh, I have Ola money to Paytm Postpaid, where already I have a credit line, I can definitely make multiple transactions and I can just make one single transaction at the end of the month or let's say the 15 days or 45 days period cycle, whatever we have. So that's something which I feel is making a very significant customer behavior change. When it comes to Paytm Postpaid, uh, I think we have started actively engaging with you guys in last six months uh, and the growth has been tremendous. Uh, and not only for you, I think for us as a BNPL category, we have also seen a significant jump in our percentage of the prepaid share they hold. Uh, so that has been good. Uh, major share again, you have been helping us with the other set of uh, users which you might not be able to reach out, uh, considering we are very heavy on metros and tier one, but Paytm Postpaid itself has grown on my platform in the last six months, almost 300%. So very strong number to quote on. Great, thank you. Uh, that, that really helps. Uh, now, let me come to the very, very interesting topic that, you know, that all merchants and PAs and banks have been dealing with, uh, which is tokenization. Right, and we all know that D-Day is just around the corner, about a month, you know, almost, hardly a month away. Uh, so what's your preparation? What do you think on the tokenization? How, how it's been the journey for Mintra on the tokenization? So this time I personally feel that it should go. I think we this has <laughs> already been uh, twice that we have prepared. We were all set to go live on tokenization and bam, the deadline has been changed. But this time it is uh, very important because Festive is right there, right? 30th September, then we have Diwali, and most of e-commerce players can relate to it that we have our big numbers and sales. And most of us are not even aware about the scenarios which we have not seen post we move to the tokenization flow. Uh, so I feel let's have it and see where we are. Uh, as a brand, we are completely aligned, compliant, and we are already moved to our tokenized uh, transaction flow. 
there also I think we are partnered with Paytm who has actually been really helpful uh, whether it comes to all the major networks from Amex to Pay to Visa. Uh, we've been able to tokenize our cards, save it on our systems or either let's say move it to the transactions flow where we are getting a really good success rate. So that has been a good journey so far. Thanks Shivam. Uh, let me ask last question uh, you know, uh, from, uh, from me this evening. What is an interesting project in future that you think you're gonna pick up once you're done with tokenization and there is something that you really want to solve for uh, in Mintra in an e-com space? I think as I said, uh, most of us today want to push our prepare share, right? How we're gonna do it is something which we have to figure out. Uh, we already have multiple options, multiple choices, cashback offers, everything to our users. Uh, the one interesting project which we might like to contribute and want to definitely invest in is that how we can close our, or let's say, uh, move our last mile deliveries, which is on COD to prepaid. So that's something which we are definitely looking forward to. We have, I think, one good opportunity with your dynamic QR, which we are already right. discussing. Uh, we are also discovering all the other opportunities that how we can move it. And I think that could be one significant approach that at the last mile of your delivery, if you will able to convince your users to make